Hello everyone, my name is Ashish and this is our third video in the Learn DAX through problem solving series. In this video we are going to solve exercise number 3 which is about context transition. So let's go to the exercise and first of all let's download the question file and open the PBIX. Simultaneously let's read the question. It says open the Power BI file in the above folder and go to the product table. If it's not already visible on the screen, okay. So we have a product table in our data model. Uh, that is product ID, product name, animal and legs. Okay. And we will have to calculate three calculated columns to this table. Okay. So we have a product table in the PBIX and uh, we will have to calculate three calculated columns. And uh, use the sumx function to add the following calculated columns and uh, we'll have to make use of sumx function to do that. So those three columns will be total sales, sales for product and product contribution. Total sales will be total sales across the entire database. Sales for product will be uh, total sales for each product. And whereas product contribution will be the second column divided by the first. You'll have to use the context transition for the second column but you knew that anyway. And the final product table will, will look like this. It will have total sales, sales for product and product contribution. Let's start solving the problem. Let's go to the PBIX and go to data view and go to product table. So in the product table we have four columns as seen in the question. And then we have uh, other tables as well. Environment, Habitat product and uh, this purchase so this purchase is a fact table uh, from fact table i mean the transaction table uh, like when the purchase has happened and uh, what is the quantity and what is the price so we will have to calculate the C total sales and uh, product sales for each product from here in this table so we'll make use of these two tables product and purchase our first question is to calculate total sales across the entire database. So what is sales? Sales is quantity into price. Quantity and price. So we will take quantity and price and multiply that and do the sum of that. Which will give us the total sales. So let's do that. Let's create a new column from here. And name it as total sales. Uh, we will use some x to do this. So sum x, what is sum x? Sum x uh, returns the sum of an expression evaluated for each row in a table. So it needs a table and an expression. So for table we will give purchase table because this is the fact table and we are going to calculate uh, the expression from this table. So let's type purchase and uh, then expression will be quantity into price. Quantity into price and close the bracket click on enter so this is the total sales across uh, the entire database if you see the this number 5260 is the total sales and it has been repeated uh, for each row because this is the number for total sales and not for each product uh, let me tell you one more time so we, what it has done is it has taken uh, quantity and purchase from the purchase table and multiplied it and has done the sum over that which has returned this value which is total sales across the entire database. So it has not considered the row context that is uh, it has not done the calculation for each row. So what we will have to do is we will have to change the context from filter context to row context to find sales for each product. So let's create a new column. And name it as sales for each product. And uh, uh, first, let's copy this expression uh, which we have calculated for total sales. And we just have to do the context transition in this table. So there is a function called calculate which does the context transition from filter context to row context or from row context to filter context. So let's type calculate and then paste the expression which we have calculated from here. 
so this is uh, the expression which we have calculated for total sales and if we put it under the calculate function it will change the context and it will then calculate the sales for each product so let's click on enter and if you see now it is giving us sales for each product and it has different values so this is how context transition is done and uh, let's also create the third column which was product contribution so this is simple divide of the second column by the first column that is second column is sales for each product divide by total sales so it will give us the product contribution let's change the format to percentage so this was uh, the product contribution from total sales for each product so this was the uh, this was the exercise where we have learned how to do the context transition from row context to filter context or from filter context to row context so that was it for this video if you like the video do not forget to subscribe my channel i will see you in the next video so till then goodbye thank you